Hannes, hello, sir. How are you, man? Yeah, hi. I'm fine. Thank you. I am so excited to talk to you about this. Let's just get right to it. You ride one wheels. You know all about Vest. Can you tell us who don't know, what does that mean? What is Vest? Uh, that's a good question to start. Um, yeah, Vest, basically, it's just an alternative uh, speed controller that you can use for your one wheel. So instead of using the future motion controller, you just change it and use the VESC controller. Interesting. So you're basically making like a zombie board. Yes, I actually, I have to wait for uh, another week and then I will, uh, I'm going to revive all my three broken boards. It's an XR. I have it here, uh, here and the plus, and I'm getting now uh, the pint that I broke. So I will have all three back. And you can do best with all three of those types of boards? Yes. Okay, so what is this gonna cost me and why would I do it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you have to do it. <laughs> well, I mean, not, for our listeners, why would why would it? Why does it improve the board? Like, sell me on it. What? 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 Does yeah. It, how would I do yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, I didn't start with uh, Vesk because I wanted to improve my board. I just wanted to have an alternative to have uh, not to have only broken boards, and I, I wanted to have some boards running again. So that was my uh, main reason to get started with this. And I got told that the Vesk controller is more stable and that it wouldn't break uh, that fast. And now I'm having uh, this one here, uh, my first board that I converted to VESC. It's in November, it will be one year that I was riding this and I did a lot of stuff, a lot of tricks and it, it didn't break so far. And I, I broke five boards before in, in 18 months. What are you riding that you're breaking five boards? What's going on, man? What are you doing over there? Yeah, I had to learn the lesson again and again. Always when I built up enough confidence and I was going back to the skate park and I got, I was riding harder and harder because I thought now I fixed it perfectly. A lot of glue on it, a lot a hot glue on the everything on the plugs. And yeah, it broke again. And then always in Europe, it, it's maybe a bit different than in the in USA. Um, we don't have shops to repair, not, not much. I did find one and he was able to repair one or two controllers for me, but then it was always the same after three months when I was ready to shred hard again, I did break it. Yeah. And so the VEST controller has lasted it hasn't broken and you put it through the same amount of testing yeah even more i mean i'm now starting um yeah to flip the boards um yeah maybe you've seen it uh, like a kick flip yeah and if you, if you try this yeah it's obvious that you don't land every time <laughs> so you slam it to the concrete floor and i'm doing slides on concrete, and I was a lot. Uh, I, I was uh, many times now in the skate park again, and yeah, it's working well. So, is the is the controller in the front or in the back for us noobs? Uh, it's on the same side. I have it on the front here. Um, yeah, basically, you can really just. I mean, there are options now that you get a complete controller box and you only have to swap it um, with the future motion controller. So is this hard to do? Is this some, like, what kind of knowledge do I need to do if I'm somebody sitting at home saying, cool, I want to do that. I'd like a more stable controller, um, but yeah. I don't know anything yeah. about like what tools would I need and what kind of instructions come with it, if any? Yeah, I know exactly what you're asking for, but I think most of uh, you out there, they don't believe that I was a new, I mean, I was a noob <laughs> at the beginning. I didn't know anything about it. And there were no video, uh, almost no video tutorials on YouTube, no um, VESC forum, 
uh, to read about it. And I had uh, one guy, the guy who made me the controller, it's uh, Victor from Custom Wheel. And he built me the controller and it was for me really just for plug and play. Like they sell it now at Makers uh, PV, they sell some um, plug and play controllers. And then I just made a tutorial about this because I started doing tutorials uh, for everybody to understand it, that it is not really, you don't have to be an engineer or a technique uh, master genius, I don't know. It's just as simple as taking the controller and swap it. Just like if you broke one and you uh, buy a new one, I mean, I mean a used one, you also have to plug out all the connectors and plug it in again and press the button. So if you take the plug and play option, it's like that, but you can also build it, your own, build it yourself and then maybe it's a, a little bit harder. Yeah, so far. So is VESC, yeah. What does VESC stand for? Is that the name of the company that's making these? Yeah, it's ESC is basically the electric speed controller and the V at the beginning is because it's from Benjamin Vedder. Um, okay. Say that again, what's the V for? Vedder, Benjamin Vedder uh, make, uh, did uh, make this controller. Cool. And it's an open source controller and there are, they are used for unicycles for drones or for quads and then they started developing um, app to use it for self-balancing yeah and i mean for the unicycle it was also self-balancing but also now for the one wheel that's crazy so what kind of pushback is coming from the company no pun intended from which company future motion they, they, can't, <laughs> they, they, they can't love this i'm sure <laughs> but I don't know. I heard that they also tested some VESC ports. <laughs> and when we were in the chat talking about something new, maybe we had some jokes about maybe they are spying on us now because we are invent inventing some new uh, features. And maybe they want to have them too. I don't know. I worry about them sending you a cease and desist letter, not you, but I, I'm sure they're not gonna love the idea of somebody else making their parts, but you know, the consumers are gonna want that. That's what we want. This is great. So does it make the board better other than more stable? Does it make it faster? Does it make it la um, more battery efficient? Yeah, when I started, it was really not the best option, but it was able to run forth and backward and I was able to carve around, but then in the last year, just uh, when I, since I started, it changed so much and the coders, the developers added so many features. I was um, reporting some bugs and they fixed them. They had their own ideas. They tried to, um, yeah, because I changed the shape a little bit. Um, and then they changed the code to, um, to match my shape. And now at this point now, I think they fixed it completely. So it's stable. You can put different batteries on it. That means you can ride faster. You have more torque. And yeah, basically, if you want, you can dig deep into the VESC tool, that's how it's called, the app for the, it's like uh, on Future Motion app, you have the custom shaping. I mean, you have five, maybe five shapes. You can just uh, switch them and you have the custom mode and then you have three values, I think, to adjust. And it's just a, a little bit more in VESC tool. It's maybe around uh, 50, uh, values that you can change and you don't have to adjust everything but if you want and you uh, get the information which you can get on I have to say now on uh, the site is called 
pev.dev. It's a forum for West one -ways. They have everything about um, the batteries, the different firmwares, and just everything. And that's pev.dev? Yes, exactly. Okay, wonderful. You said they added some features to the, to the um, software. So what did they add? Oh, um, yeah, very cool features are, um, they added the POSI switch. So you can just uh, do it on the software to say you have just one sensor. So if you touch one, it's activating both. So you don't have to need a, a wire or something. That means nothing to me, but I'm guessing that the people that that means something to uh -huh. me are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Now it's for tri for trick riding. So you have uh, two sensors, and they have to be activated both that you can uh, ride. But now, if you land on the side of the foot pad, it activates uh, both wow. foot sensors. Okay. So um, you can just turn it on or off as Split you like. Five. That's perfect. There you go. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, a yeah, uh, super crazy feature is the dark ride mode. Uh, Sarfgado uh, did that, so you can flip it halfway around and and ride on the dark side. <laughs> I'm doing that, I'm seeing it all over Instagram, and I'm like, how are they doing that? TikTok and everything. So, okay, dark mode. What else? Yeah. Is there else? You're teasing me. This is too good. Yeah, and also the dark mode is. Is also made safe because they have um, added the feature of the um, simple stop. So, because the sensor are just uh, still activated, but if you go backwards, it will stop. And the battery is always on the backside and it is heavier, so the tail will drop and it will stop. So, it's not ghosting. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> through this is amazing so and yeah another feature is um adaptive torque response that's uh, yeah it, now it's getting complicated <laughs> but it's it's like if you approach a hill and, it, and it's a steeper incline um the nose will adjust its angle set point to uh that you can still push down the nose more to get up so are you saying that the level point instead of like yes that, like the level point will change so now this is yeah i can i can oh that's so good dude. are you serious yeah i mean you do it for five up to ten degrees not more because you can't ride up like this <laughs> but but just it, it stays parallel to the floor if you go downhill, you have more tail clearance. And if you go uphill, you have more nose clearance. And this does this like at all times, it does, you don't have to activate it. It's just going to do that when you hit a incline or decline. No, you have, you, you, you can uh, adjust the strengths of it. In my, I mean, you can set it to zero. It does not, it doesn't do it. No, or no, you, I meant like, like when you're riding, if I get to a hill, I don't have to yeah. activate this in the app it's just gonna it's gonna recognize the hill and do this on yes yes oh that's so good <laughs> so good oh hannes thank you where are you where are you um, joining us from man where do you live uh, i'm living in uh, in the heart of europe it's the uh, smallest country one of the smallest in the world it's called Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. okay wonderful well hello from yeah. over i know the time difference was about six hours so i'm like yeah where are you calling me from? Okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you for your time, dude. What else do I need to know? What are we leaving out? Is there anything you want our friends to know about this? Um, how much does it cost? How about that? Ah, yeah. Actually, the control is, yeah, they sell it at Maker's uh, PV. They sell the complete box for $700. And I think the, if you only buy the parts, it's about $500, $450 something like that okay and you said where where can they get that you said something about makers pe yes makers pev is that m-a-k-e-r-s-p-e-v.com -E -E or what no makers.pev 
Makers.pev. And the other one where we can is, find information is pev.dev. Yes. And then the shop uh, for the rest of the world to get it is customwheel.shop. Customwheel.shop. So if we're in the US, where would we go? Yeah, you have to go to makers.pev. That's for the US and then it's the rest. Of the world. And yeah, there are uh, good tutorials from Surf Dado on YouTube. And he's one of the developers. Okay, good. I want to shout him out. Give him some love. Yeah, and also Mitch. Uh, but I don't, I don't, I forgot his YouTube name, Mitch Lustig. And he's the uh, other developer from, for the Balance app. Well, there you have it. That's Vest. In 30 seconds, leaving our, our, our guests, our, our wonderful listeners and viewers, in 30 seconds or less, what do you love about the Vest controller? Oh, I love the creativity that I can get with the VESC controller. I mean, I learned how to change the values. I know what they do. And then you can play with it. You can do crazy stuff. And that's just the best thing for me. Yeah. I see what you're doing on Instagram. I will make sure to put this on the video and all of these links in the descriptions as well. Honestly. Yeah. Joining us, man. Is there anything that we left out before we getting any, anybody out of here? Is that up to be covered at all? I think it was a really cool interview. Thank you.